first observations in this maiden test of the new aluminum frame dual camera and iPhone compartment rig or timer uh, rig is that it looks like the uh, the clip-ons perhaps need to be tensioned. It looks like they've pulled up closer together on the line than you'd like. But I finally got the rock uh, launched okay. It's got a lot of slack on the lower lines I see up there, but it seems to be holding kind of spot on right up above me. Bringing it on in now, but just checking, uh, taking a look there. Looks like the spacing on the two uh, clip-ons isn't as scrunched as I thought it might be. Tendency to overfly a bit here. As you can see, it's almost vertical with me, a small angle off vertical. Trying to follow Brooks Laffler's advice, it looks like I've got a fair amount of line out here to the kite before I try and attach the uh, the payload. I haven't got um, measures on this line so I'd have to try and mark it and check here as to how, just how high up I am. But I just uh, stood on the line and uh, then reached in and unclipped the platform and set it down and now I'll bring the the Rococo, <laughs> Rocco, however you say it, uh, down. This is actually a first maiden flight for this kite. I've had it for quite a while. Got it at uh, Crazy Cat's Toys downtown in Livermore, and it was the first kite I got, first big kite, but it's um, been a struggle for me to get it going, and today I hit on uh, uh, one at least approach to getting it to fly. It's more apparent now, up closer to the kite, uh, how the two lower lines are very loose, and it's overflying a bit here and kind of lazing back and forth. I'm going to recall that in this configuration, though, that the red lobe is at the top, the blue one is at the bottom. And I've clipped into the uh, consolidation of lines at a little different point than I was trying to before. So now that it's down, I just wanted to document for myself where I've clipped into this, uh, this line harness. And it's on this particular pair that's tied off and goes on up. Actually, it's kind of an interesting thing that it goes on up to. It's sort of like a, a side harness. It's a little hard for me to describe why that's the best point to clip into. It may not be. Maybe that's part of the reason for the, the set. decided to go ahead and break this down this evening. I haven't done this for a long time. So I'm untying this little laced configuration here and then slipping the cross bracing spars out. 